Hi, this is Russ from Studio One Expert, and I want to show you a quick trick using input inserts, which are possible on Studio One. Uh, now, I use both Pro Tools and Studio One, and I want to show you a couple of tricks that are only possible in the native version of Studio One that you couldn't do natively in Pro Tools. Now, you can use plugins on inserts in, in Pro Tools, but the problem is that it doesn't record them. Now, you might think it's a good idea, but with Studio One, you can actually put the plugins actually on the input channels. Now, that has a number of advantages, and if you read the whole article that I've written to go with this video, then you'll see what those advantages are. And I just want to do a very quick video to show you what I've done to set this up. So now I have one input going to three different record channels, and if I just quickly come here and go to the I.O. setup, you can see that input 9, 10, and 11 are all coming from my guitar input on my Apogee Ensemble interface. So now if I use input monitoring here, and again, that's a nice feature that's in Studio One. I have a regular DI guitar coming in. Secondly, I have a second one coming in. Going through Ampire, you can see it there. And then I've got a third one coming in, which is going through Channel Strip. And what Channel Strip is doing here, if I open that, I pulled the gate down by 6 dB. If you look, the input to this channel is quieter than that channel. Now the great thing is as well with input monitoring is I can record all the channels but I can then only monitor once. If I just want to monitor the actual Empire version, I can, but I don't have to listen to the other ones because I can switch input monitoring off. So I'm going to record all three, which means the reds are on, but the only one I'm going to monitor during record is the one where the blue is on, that speaker there. And I can listen to all three of them, so as I say, DI'd version, Empire'd version, So let's choose the Empire one, and let's put that in record, and away we go. So I've got those recorded now, and we can listen to them. Let's have a listen back. Here's the first one. Let's solo it. Then the Empire version. So the combination of having input monitoring and the and the ability to be able to put plugins on as you record is a really cool feature. Now if you're an Apollo user and a UAD Apollo, then this feature is already possible. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.